all loaded into Bjorn Lean's Gathering as I make sure that my other screen is working well over there. There we go. And it's time to set up these lines. I believe that we will be facing in this particular matchup um, Bertoni again, I think. I think, yes. Anyways, Dark Elves, one of my more, one of my more favorite uh, factions to man here. And I will be setting up these lineups so that we have uh, not like super wide on this one, but I do want to get a nice like medium girth to this particular uh, setup here. Lots of spears around because of Bretonia. Well, what do you think that they're going to bring? They're probably going to bring shit ton of <laughs> shit ton of fucking cavalry as they typically do. Uh, have three units actually of a black guard of Nagarond. Actually, expect quite a bit out of them. One unit of dark shards. Mm, that's about as much as I need. <laughs> and uh, and a couple units of cold one knights actually, which are pretty uh, pretty good value for what they are. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them both kind of in a group together, and then of course Loki or Felhart's actually going to be. Uh, manning the frontal assault so the idea here the idea here is our main force is pretty easy to manage around um, uh, let's see what kind of unit count he's bringing yeah, t a thousand thousand so thousand soldiers so we should be able to have a nice uh, full-on battle here and then we'll have this unit of missile cavalry to kind of skirmish around uh, in a no way their 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 skirmish cav and then we'll have these guys over here in their own group actually let's un let's unlock them and I want these guys on a uh, on a on a hot tool tip right there too so with that said I'll actually start the battle from my end and we'll wait for the enemy to uh, to ready up, but this should be like a pretty easy one to manage. Um, maybe I'll spread out these guys a little bit, uh, depending upon where he kind of lines up. His cav uh, is gonna is gonna dictate how I use my cav, as his cav are probably gonna have an advantage there. But seeing as we have so many spears and so many halberds and very powerful ones at that, of course. I mean, look at these units, man. They are fucking. They are good. These are some good looking sons of bitches. Um, we should be able to deal with them quite well as those are going to be the best the best of the best to deal with them from the uh from the dark elves perspective so we got the tools we just need to make sure that we finish strong now we can't expect or sorry we can expect that uh that they will have quite a few uh troops on the line so hopefully our our bleak swords will be able to pull in their duties over there not the best units of all time but they don't need to be the best units of all time if they're going against Bretonian infantry, you know, <laughs> that's the whole point of it. So realistically, it's going to be a game of uh, it's going to be a game of of using our halberds against their sort of natural strength, which is, of course, their their uh, their cavalry units. So, uh, you know, already we can see right off the right off the bat, they've kind of left these guys out caution of the wind with these mounted yeoman archers. Like, I understand what he's trying to do there with skirmishing them around. You know, he has them on what looks like all the four corners of this map. Um However, uh, you know, I can, I, I mean, I mean, we can skirmish with them. We can, we can, we can actually try to get our troops. over. I don't think that they'll be able to catch them. Unfortunately, at yeah, 92 speed versus yeah, 66 speed, they're not gonna be able to catch them. Unfortunately, maybe if they go into rage mode, they might be able to, but seeing as these yeoman archers do not have armor piercing, they're not gonna be able to do all that much. I mean, they, these guys have already taken a couple of volleys to the dome and it's, I don't, I don't even think that if they folk, if they focused fire all, if they focused fired all of those, uh, units on the same, um, uh, 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 unit that I had, they probably wouldn't even be able to be able to kill it. Well, maybe actually they probably would, but it would, it would probably take almost all their ammunition at that point. As you can see right here, it's, you know, it's, yeah, I understand that's, that's not the best use of it right there, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, if they want to go against my shielded units over here, that's fine. They'll, they'll waste most of their ammunition anyways. Um, and our skirmish unit over here actually taking quite a bit of damage. So don't like that. They obviously don't have shields of their own, so they, they don't have so much survivability, especially against uh, even, you know, even just unarmor piercing type of damage over there. So have to make a decision. Do I want to pull these guys back and kind of savor them? I think I will. I think I will. And really, realistically, um, Probably should have brought some shields on those dark shards come to think of it on second thought on second thought and i will actually initiate them over there and maybe we can catch these grail knights uh out you know out uh out with their pants down if we can do that that would be a humongous win right off the bat but it looks like they are going to be clever with them they are going to be careful with them which which well they should do but their main you know their main force over here sh should be not really a main uh you know an issue for our major force um, of which I, you know, I like the way that we are kind of situating that. Now, where did my other, yeah, where are they? Oh, they're right over here. Uh, smart. He's bringing them over to his main force. I didn't realize that they're, uh, currently dealing with this, with this, uh, regiment of troops right now, but that's fine. Um, we can also kind of get them situated in the back there as well, but it looks like he doesn't, he didn't bring any archers to this particular battle, uh, which is interesting. Very interesting. Let's see. Can we actually hit them from there? Nah, we can't. 
we could maybe get one of these guys over here. Let's see if we can maybe, yeah, if we can actually get this engagement right here, that would be quite nice. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, support them with the Dark Shards. There we go. And if we can get the Halberds over there, that should be enough to take care of this Grail Guardians. And the Grail Guardians are, are you know, are the big killers in that particular uh, setup that we see thus far. Now, obviously, he has a green out over here as well. <laughs> always, <laughs> always, always not so fun to deal with. <clears throat> Let's get these guys turned around so that they can use their shields there. And uh, looking like doing a little bit of damage to the Grail, uh, to the Grail Knights, but not going to be enough right there. I'm going to actually have these guys uh, resituate themselves and get some support from the uh, from the dark shards and they should be able to hold them off and i want to see our main force uh overwhelm the main force of the uh of the bretonians right here so i'm gonna get i'm gonna get our cav our one unit of cav that's still kind of uh, available um in the back of them and get some nice back charges off uh, i see that these units right here are gonna really stand no you know no <laughs> not you know not you know not much up to a, a rear cav charge for these guys right here they don't have too much protection to begin with and looking at the way that the rest of the map's going right now, I actually really like uh, my Harganeth executions. Could probably take on a shit ton of these soldiers to begin with. So I do like what's going on over there as well. Looking like the Grail, uh, the Grail Knights will be able to actually break off while I'm not looking one of my one of my Dread Spears, but that's kind of to be expected, uh, seeing as. You know, seen as uh, they're you know they're 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 low tier units, but uh, the uh, the 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 god damn it, I can't can't get my words out properly. Black Guard of Nagrond <clears throat> gonna be able to uh, gonna be able to deal with that rather well. Uh, gonna be the best unit again for our for our particular setup right here. And I'm gonna get a nice back charge into these guys right here. I'm actually not even gonna go after the battle programs. I want to break these guys off and just crush their souls right at the beginning. Looks like he realizes what I'm gonna do, but too late. It is too late, and directly into the backs of them. We can actually even leave them in um we can even leave them in uh, uh melee for a little bit of time here not gonna have the best results with it but um but realistically we're just kind of chunking down and uh and and really frustrating the enemy right here now i do have a nice uh, a nice setup with their paladin versus low cure fellheart and of course the hargan or i keep on wanting to call them executioners they're not obviously the black guard are going to be a good unit to uh, to deal with that um and it looks like he's going to be forced to bring the Grail Knights over. Now, who does he have in the air? Oh, it's just it's just a regular Lord. Okay, cool. All right, so our Harganeth Executioner is going to be absolutely just a deadly to anything that they have on their front line. But as far as our Lord goes, he actually has broken off the Paladin rather well. I mean, Loki or Felhart's a great duelist in, in and of his own right, so that's actually uh, to be expected. But um, if we can finish off some of the more uh, some of the more scary units that are that are involved in this particular mat, or sorry, in this particular uh, skirmish right there, that would be perfect to really. Uh, kind of help this one overall we need to make sure that we actually make use of our our units over here and try to get something resembling a surround if we can as we're kind of just stacking up and doing all sorts of weird things our Harganeth executioners are just chopping their way through already 176 kills very nicely done let's actually get, let's actually bring these dread spears over here so that they can help out as well and it looks like yeah actually <laughs> Realize that our dread, or sorry, our our dark shards are in melee with the mounted yeoman archers, and they they can actually probably even kill them. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, that's how weak they are. Uh, that is, the, you know, that is the mounted yeoman archers. Looking at Loki over here hasn't really taken all that much damage, and more importantly, dishing it out. So I like the way that he's situated right now, and our our black guards are doing a damn good job of keeping him safe, and more importantly, taking down these Grail knights, which they are which they are perfect for. As uh, our Harganeth executioners still chopping them to fucking bits, you gotta love that man. They have their massive swords, and with each swing, they are chopping these battle programs down. They stand zero chance against a uh, against an assault like that, against against a powerful unit like that. And it looks like we got the Green Knight versus uh, Lokir Felthar himself. I'm gonna actually gonna start to buff him up a little bit and see if we can do a lot of damage here, as that would be rather helpful. Um, as we get a little bit more deep into this game, going to get us a nice surround with my Black Guard as well, as well as their main troop lines uh, taking quite taking quite a bit of hurt. I, I need to turn around these Bleak Swords, um, and now that, uh, now that they just charged in their Grail Knights, I can... Well, they literally just got surrounded immediately by my black guard. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And of course, their their mounted yeoman archers are pretty much out of uh, out of ammunition to begin with, as uh, they haven't really even racked up that many kills. This one getting 44 kills. This one getting 15 kills and out of ammunition. And this unit over here actually will be able to kill off my 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 dark shards. It looks like, um, but I realize that we do have a couple more units of. Uh, of uh, of stray halberds and spears uh coming in from that side as well so just need to hold down this main portion right here that's going to cut off their main forces as well although 
looking a little bit nasty right here now that I now that I keep a keen eye on it. In fact, um, now we do have we do have some things going for us. We do have some pretty damn strong strong troops in this uh, in that particular mix, but we're gonna need to support them now. So I will bring over uh, Loke here. Um, and I will bring over the rest of our forces as well. We kind of have to right now because this is actually a lot more even than I think what uh, what what I was thinking before. And we do have our Black Guard going directly against our Grail Knights. We just need to finish them off right there. That's the scariest unit in this mix thus far. And uh, we got a couple. We got we got our supporting units coming in now as well. But uh, but our Harganeth Executioners, after racking up 270 70, uh, 79 kills, wow, phenomenal. Uh, Going to be broken off or terrified, terrified and broken off. In fact. So we still got to deal with, I believe, their lord somewhere. Where is their lord? I think he's on the ground right now. So I'm actually going to send in Loke here to, to deal directly with his lord as, uh, you know, he is a duelist himself. So he should be able to, should be able to do, do the lord's work right here. I'm going to buff him up quite, uh, quite, uh, quite significantly at the same time. And there he goes. There he goes. Do it, baby. Do it. And he's actually about to get one more big buff. Just a second here. There we go. There we go. Initiating all the abilities that we can. And looking like looking like the final battle is uh, it's is is underway right here so it will be decided in this kind of hodgepodge but i really like our chances especially with the black guard kind of getting some nice surrounds on their ground troops now keep in mind that while the black guard not gonna be the best anti-infantry they don't really have any uh anti-infantry except for these uh, foot squires what they do have are some more halberds themselves and i and our halberds are i i would take our halberds over their halberds any day of the week in fact we just shattered their uh their best one off and now we can go directly into the fray here. We do have a surround on their Lord and uh, and the Green Knight, actually, res uh, both respectively. But that does put um, Loke here under pressure here. Do you have a little bit of an issue right now? A little bit of an issue as uh, it's going to be a little bit of a, it's going to be a race against time. You know, who's going to do more damage to who right here? I'm actually going to pull back. Pull, uh, I'm going to pull back uh, Loke here right now and let the Black Guard kind of take over. Um, and, tr and, and chunk down these enemies and have a low here. Maybe deal with these foot squires in the back line. Uh, now he still has a bunch of troops over there that are actually not out of this game just yet. We do have a full unit of, um, of, of Blackguard right there and our Dread Spears over here finishing off these Mounted Yeoman Archers, so not bad. And of course we got our two units over here doing pretty damn well themselves. Unfortunately though, uh, looks like we are once again. Oh no, we just broke off the foot squires. Beautifully done, and uh, time to buff up Mr. Loke here, Fellhart. He's going to be facing a little bit of a back charge there, but I did get him the uh, the foe seeker, so his vigor goes up a, a smidge in there. <laughs> but he he's under pressure right now. The Green Knight will not break, obviously. So we do need to kind of uh, do as much as we can right now. I'm not worried about these mounted yeoman archer. They are not going to be any any any, any issue. But I do think that we're going to be able to take down the green knight. Um, come on, you got it. Yes, we actually uh, we actually shattered their lord, so that should help quite a bit. All the rest of their troops are shattering as well, and now we just got to deal with the green knight, which is he's done. Is he done? Yes, he's done. Let's go take a look at uh, let's go take a look at the the kill counts. I imagine that the Harganeth Executioners, yeah, they pull in all of the heavy lifting in this one. 279 kills themselves, 110 kills and 129 kills, respectively, for those Black Guard of Nagrond as well. And uh, actually, ha, actually for Betonia, uh, 179 kills for the Grail Knights and 132 for the Mounted Yeoman Archers. A fun match. And at the end of the day, the day was won. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.